Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D object and also we will animate it in After Effects without any plugins and I'm going to use a 3D cell phone for an example in this video and also I'm going to provide the icons that I created for this project but feel free to replace the icons with anything basically you can use your logo or your animation or any kind of footage on the screen let's jump into it so we will create a new composition Rename your composition Font3D and we will create a background I pick a dark grey color and also rename it to background and lock your layer and we're going to create the, the base shape of the phone I use basically a white color for this one and just use the rectangle tool to create the shape. With the Wii you can reposition your shape. We're going to dig in and I'm going to set up the roundiness of the shape. And rename your layer so keep everything organized. And also I'm going to reposition the anchor point with Y or you can use that icon like anchor point tool. So we're going to create the screen also using a shape layer. But I pick a slightly darker grey and also we will still use the rectangle tool for this one. So draw your shape on the phone and rename your layer to screen and we're going to pre-comb this layer and rename it to screen, make sure it's screen and make sure you use move all attributes and we double click it and we go inside the pre-comb and we're going to resize our composition the same size of our shape So basically if you're roughly done with the composition use uh, command alt f on mac or ctrl alt f on windows it's going to snap the shape layer to the composition size so we go back to the main composition and just tweak the screen on the phone and we will parent the pre-composition to the body to the phone if you can see that icon right click there and make sure the parent is ticked. So we go into the screen and we will import our icons but basically feel free to use any animation here or footage so basically you can put anything on the screen but I will use my icons here and I'm going to provide this description below. Make sure you click on little rasterize icon there. So the reason for that, the icons will be sharp, not blurry. So we're going to create a new speaker for this phone. So I will use a rounded rectangle shape for this one. and make it a bit more darker and also we will rename this layer keep everything organized and parent it to the phone and we will create a button as well which I use a slightly lighter grey and we will parent this layer to the phone as well and make sure you rename this layer so once the phone is done we will change the composition settings so 
make sure select Cinema 4D Renderer and hit OK. And we will turn all of the layers to 3D. Hit the little icon there and as you can see the screen just disappeared but we're going to fix that. So hit two views and select all the layers except your phone. So we are going to push all of the layers, the screen, the, the speaker and the button a little bit lower and as you can see now we can see the phone. So we are going to check as I'm going to show you this is basically only a 2D phone at the moment but when we turn this uh, Cinema 4D renderer on we have this option now so we can extrude the phone body in, in depth as you can see so this is a top view the left the left is a top view as you can see is it's going out and it creates a 3D object so select your rectangle path and we're going to create a color for the sides. The default is always red, so we're going to change it so like a light gray. Okay, so I'm going to show you the back is still white. So we change that, select the rectangle path again and hit back and color and change it to uh, change it to something darkish gray. We will create a logo on the back. So we will go back to the default rotation to zero and we will create a logo on the on the back of the phone. So I will use just a white and just a simple circle but you can create any uh, graphics there. Once it's done, turn it to 3D layer and also make sure we rename it to logo and I'm going to push it to the back side and parent it to the phone. So when I move the phone the logo is comes with the phone. So I'm going to rotate the phone make sure it's on. Yeah, the logo is on the, on the back side of the phone now. So we're going to create a camera for the project and I selected 80 millimeters for the settings but you can use any type of uh, settings for this one but I think it's looking good with 80. If your phone is uh, snapped much further you can push your camera closer to your scene. I will show you how. So just zoom out, select your camera. You can see some arrows and push your camera closer to your phone or further. So you can set up your scene like that. Okay, once you're done with your camera, we're going to animate the phone. I will shift it to the left side. And I will also hit P like a keyframe and I'm going to animate the Y rotation. So I will angle the rotation at the beginning to see the sides of the phone and I will go around one and a half sec in time and shift the phone to the right side. And also I'm going to make a one and a half rotation for the phone. And select the keyframes that hit F9 which is an easy ease uh, shortcut for the keyframes. Make sure you use edit speed graph here. And I'm going to adjust the accelerations for this phone. And I'm going to check the animation. Yeah, it's looking good, it's smooth. So just copy the last keyframes. It's a couple of frames later and we're going to animate the phone closer to the camera. You can use the second view, which is a top view, to animate your phone. And I'm going to angle the phone 
to the other side. And I'm going to animate the two other rotational uh, properties to angle the phone a bit differently, so make it a bit more nicer 3D effect. As you can see, it looks like now we are looking the phone uh, from the ground. Select the all keyframes, hit F9, and I'm going to hit F9 again for all of the keyframes, make sure it's, everyone is the same. Uh, and I will play with the acceleration here as well. Then we will make a RAM preview. It's looking pretty good. And the last step is basically just before the phone stops, we're going to animate the icons as well. Uh, but I'm going to create a shine on the screen to make it a bit more nicer. And turn the overlay and just hit T, which is a transparency shortcut. 25% should be fine. So we're going to create a null object, which we're going to control the animation here. Hit P and we're going to animate the position here. So make sure you hit stop on the stopwatch there. And then we will parent our icons to the null object. And we will animate the null. Hit F9 for all the keyframes and we will adjust the uh, accelerations and the slowdown animation. So we trim the animation and we will check it. Okay, it's looking good. So just duplicate your icons and go to the last keyframe and parent it, the second one to the null object and now it's the animation is done. So we will make a RAM preview and pretty much that's it. So this is how to create a basic 3D object in After Effects. If you use this method, you can create pretty complicated objects in After Effects. But if you want detailed and very complicated objects, I, I would recommend to use Element 3D or even go to Cinema 4D and create your object there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and please subscribe for more videos like this. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Until then, see you guys next time.